welcome back now in this particular module we are going to discuss the various applications of neutralization in day to day life in everyday life let's begin the first one that we are going to take is indigestion now we know as a matter of fact that in our stomachs we have large quantities of hydrochloric acid getting produced because that hydrochloric acid is going to help in digesting our food but now the problem is you decide that you're not going to eat food for a significantly long duration of time your stomach doesn't know that so it keeps on producing more and more of hcl more and more of hydrochloric acid and there is nothing that you put in the stomach to digest because you're not eating any food so that is going to lead to a condition called as indigestion or commonly called as acidity which means too much hydrochloric acid present in the stomach is going to cause indigestion is going to cause acidity and that is going to lead to the burning sensation that you're going to get into your stomach but that is something that should be cured i've said this before and i'm saying it again neutralization is when you have an acid reacting with a base to give you salt and water right now your stomach contains too much acid so i should introduce a base within it so that the acid reacts with the base to give you salt and water neutralization occurs the acidity and indigestion goes away and the burning sensation in the stomach also goes away so to neutralize the effect of excess acid we are going to take an antacid what is an antacid anti acid which means against the acid and who acts against an acid a base correct the perfect example of that is milk of magnesia this is the kind of syrup that's the kind of medicine that you are suggested when you are suffering from indigestion when you are suffering from acidity correct absolutely the next criteria the next application of neutralization in day to day life is an ant bite what's the problem with an ant bite the sting of an ant bite contains acid and if this acid is there on your skin it enters into your blood stream it's going to cause redness it's going to cause itching it's going to cause rashes to appear and i don't want that so the acid which is present in the ant bite can be neutralized if you apply a base to it so over here the effect of the acid can be neutralized by rubbing it to the base what kind of a base can you apply on to your skin can you apply on to an ant bite that is nothing but baking soda or you can also take a solution which is available in the pharmacies which is nothing but calamine it is also going to contain slight amount of base that is something that you can put on to your skin where you got the ant bite and get relieved from the redness get relieved from the rashes that are appear get relieved from the itching which is occurring due to the ant bite correct let's continue the next one over here the third one is soil treatment now understand that plants do not grow if the soil in which they are planted is too acidic or too basic so i've said this before and i'm saying it again you are not going to expect a plant to grow if you have pasted it into an acidic soil or into a basic soil so basically that particular acidic soil that particular basic soil need to be neutralized by adding the correct things so when you have an acidic soil soil is acidic and because the soil is acidic it should be treated with a base what is that you can add quick lime or slate lime into it what's quick lime cao calcium oxide what's slate lime cao is the whole twice calcium hydroxide mind you both of them are excellent bases both of them are going to react with the excess acidity present in your acidic soil and will make it more and more neutral after which the plant will be able to grow properly however if you have a basic soil this is when the soil is too basic and therefore to reduce the extra basic nature of the soil it should be treated with an acid and for that you can introduce organic matter into the soil the decomposition of organic matter will make the soil acidic the basic soil which was present and the acidic soil which is now going to get generated will both neutralize each other you will get relatively neutral soil which is perfect for growing a plant 
both and the final use over here is going to be factory waste what's the problem with factory waste factory waste contains a lot of assets now the problem is if you take all of these assets and they are directly allowed to flow into the water bodies where you are decomposing that waste off where you are discharging that waste off the acid will kill the fish and the other organisms i think said this before and i'm saying it again we can carry forward a neutralization reaction where an acid reacts with the base to give you salt and water the acid is already present in the factory waste neutralize that with the base convert it to salt and water and it's all going to be fine what did i say you have acid which is present in factory waste neutralized with respect to a base converted to salt and water so the waste is therefore neutralized by adding a basic substance when you do that your neutralization reaction will occur your acid will react with base to give you salt and water and the same acidic waste will now become relatively neutral and it is more safe to discharge in the water bodies thank you and yes please do not forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon